Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Rob Powers coming to you tonight from Edgewater Park. This just one of the many areas in our hometown hit hard by storms today. Well, this looks like somebody came through and, and just blew the place up. Down trees, flooding, hundreds of thousands of people without power. Look at that telephone pole, it's about to split. Holy The cleanup continues well into the night. It sounded almost like, like a train was coming down the street. As many pick up the pieces all across Northeast Ohio. When we first heard reports of wicked weather headed our way, this is the way it came, right off the lake, right here at Edgewater Park. Look around. The scene here, devastating tonight. This huge tree knocked in half by the weather we saw earlier today. Edgewater Park, though, far from the last and only place in Northeast Ohio that saw that tough weather all afternoon. Scott Knoll now continues our coverage in Parma Heights. People here at this Parma Heights apartment complex working to salvage what they can tonight after this summer storm blew apart the apartment's garage. The force of the winds actually taking the roof right off it, tossing that roof right here in the apartment complex's courtyard. That storm swept through the area of Kingsdale Boulevard and Pearl Road around four o'clock. Then there was a big sound. It's like it's like a whoosh and everything just completely was gone off the garage. Willie Whitaker watched it all from his second floor balcony. It was very frightening because I've never seen anything this bad before. The entire length of the apartment's garage collapsed. The flying roof and debris slamming into the building, breaking windows, leaving destruction behind. So we think it's just like from the garage. Amber Samkis' car shoved out of its parking space, nearly cut in half. It's my boyfriend's dad's last like thing he left for us. So it's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like my kids were safe, I was safe, everybody's safe. So. End of the day, we're all okay. Amazing when you see the damage left behind in this area. Shingles from down the street were flying by the house, like just everything was all over the place. It was kind of chaos for a minute. This tree fell on his neighbor's home, while in Parma, giant power poles snapped and left dangling next to busy West Ridgewood Drive. While back at the apartments, if I can get my sub pump, I'll get that out. As bad as things look, it's a very sad scene, man. It sucks because you don't expect something like this to happen in your backyard. There's also a sense of relief. Somehow the roof missed piercing people's apartments, missed a driver who just pulled into the parking lot, spared the lives of neighbors. Blessed, definitely blessed, because it could have been a lot worse. In Parma Heights, I'm News 5 investigator Scott Knoll.